Hi, my name is Wolf Ifada, and you're watching my cover on Accelerate TV. Mm, I did she tell anybody she was struggling? No, yeah, just me. Oh, girl, like you, we should be happy that women are staying strong. They are hustling for them. Hi, my name is Wolf Ifada. Welcome to my cooking show. How come I'm, I'm still, they tie that in a red rope? Ah, no, a red rope. Hey. Um, no easy. Sorry. Interview. This is my hardest challenge, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the real Wofai is a very shy person, very calm, um, very emotional. And this is me, this is the real me. Okay, one of the challenges I think women face in the entertainment industry is the fact that they don't call us on the table. We are not part of decision making, we are not part of script conferences. Um, you know, the important things that they feel men should be part of, they don't let us in. But I'm proud of the fact that there's um, something called Entertainment Day or Entertainment Industry Day. I can't really remember the, the name of that conference, but it's held every year. I was surprised when they actually kept tables for women to actually talk to people and motivate people. Um, so it's actually changing. You know how people just make decisions? I've been in productions where when they are having a script conference, they don't call women, it's just the men. They, it's like a carcass thing. And then the women still have to come and do the work at the end of the day. How about you put us as part of your conference so that you know we share ideas because we, at the end of the day, we are still going to be the one to work on that project. So I think you guys should involve women in your decision making or we will make our own table. Five years ago, um, I was in Lagos actually. I, I just came to Lagos and I was squatting with my friend somewhere in Ogba. Um, I was trying to, <laughs> I just came to Lagos that, that they tried to shine my eye to see what's really going on. Um, I started jumping from one set to the other, you know, doing my Instagram comedy, posting videos on YouTube. With the small money I got, I actually had a room in Surulere. The day I, I had the key to my house, as small as that room was, you needed to see celebration. All the money I had was just to get that apartment. And when I did, I, just, I was sleeping on my clothes because I didn't have a bed. But the joy in my heart that I had a room in Lagos, easy, <laughs> easy, everybody should come to Lagos. <laughs> so five years ago, I was staying in Surulere. But thank God for progression. I wish I actually made a video of that room. I didn't know I would come this far, even though I would have made a video of that room just so that when I'm talking, I actually show it to you people. It was horrible, but we thank God. Well, what five father now is a successful actor, a successful business owner, a CEO. And um, the fact that what, what actually gives me so much joy is the fact that I have a payroll. Like, I literally pay salaries over 25 employees people literally depend on me to like pay them it's i'm so as much as it's painful shot to pay salaries especially when sales are not coming i'm still happy that okay someone is actually depending on me me that came from calabar so i'm i'm, I'm happy and where i see myself hmm, I people <laughs> are you sure you want to know where i see myself um because it's far <laughs> mm. You know what, uh, let me just leave it to God. Because I didn't see myself coming this far, he just led me to where I am. So let me leave it for him. For entertainment wise, I see myself having my production company, shooting my movies. I actually have a, a script, it's called Apollo. I, I wrote that script when I first came to Lagos. Um, I, I can't wait to see it manifest, like turn it into a proper movie. And as far as the restaurant and business per se, I see it. I see myself opening branches everywhere in Lagos, every, in short, worldwide, abroad, Abuja, Uyo, you know, expansion basically. The advice I have for young people is to keep watching interviews like this, reading magazine covers, and trying to understand how far someone actually came. Because the thing is, like I said, if I had videos of how I suffered, 
because it's, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't make it in Lagos overnight, but I don't have all those pictures and videos of where I was sleeping. Do you understand? Because I didn't know I was even going to come this far. So try to get the real stories of people because all you see on my page now is glam, actor, restaurants. But if, if you wake up one day, you just feel like it happened. So try to, you know, actually, if you have someone as your mentor, ask questions, ask how they started. That will motivate you. That will make you patient. You know, that will make you resilient. Oh my, they speak English. They could not forget. So, <laughs> um, and then don't, don't get carried away with social media. Obviously, you know that a lot of things you see are not real. Do you understand? You can Photoshop anything right now. So, and then above all, ask God for directions. Because that was what I did when I came to Lagos. I told God, direct me. Like I told you guys, I didn't know I was going to come this far. I had no way in my plan. When I came to Lagos, I was going to have a restaurant in Lekki. I just told God, I'm here. What's up? Just lead me on. That's why it's even hard for me to answer the question of where do you see yourself in 10 years? Because I really do not know. Do you understand? So just stay positive um, and pray to God. He will direct you. I travel. I go to visit family. When I'm with family, I, I calm down because the pressure in this town, the pressure in Lagos, the pressure of even being a human being, Sometimes I come home, I start crying for no reason. And I don't know why. I have anxiety. I start panicking. So number one thing, I start praying. And when I start praying, I start crying. I call my mom. I call my family. You know, I share all my problems with my family group. And somehow they talk to me and I feel better. Um, the idea of this restaurant is from the fact that I love to cook. And growing up, my grandma had a restaurant, so whenever I come back from school, I used to assist her, wash the plates, serve people. So the hospitality thing has been in a blood things. <laughs> so um, I'm always, whenever you come to my house, you see food in my fridge, especially Afang. My friends always come home to eat, waiting day, they start eating. And then I met someone that actually made me understand that you can actually turn this thing into a business. And then I started cooking online. Um, people were actually coming to my house to buy food. Um, and then when the others became too much, I had to employ a few people living in my house to help me make the food. And then we progressed into having a physical space, which is my restaurant. And that's where we are shooting right now. You people need to turn the camera. They need to see. You have to, by the water, it's not easy. <laughs> and then for the cookbook, it's called Your Gigi Culture. A lot of people find it hard to pronounce, but it's Your Gigi Culture. Your Gigi means different types of meals. It's coined from Ugep, where I'm from. It's an Ugep name. Um, people come here, they enjoy the food a lot. And unfortunately, the restaurant is just located in Lagos only. And I love people to experience. I love people to know or learn how to cook. I've been in so many places. When I eat afang, I'm like, how, how can you abuse this leaf like this? Some people actually use onions to cook afang. How? It's so disrespectful. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, let me, let me write a cookbook so that um, people will actually learn how to cook. The people that are not privileged enough to come to the restaurant to eat. That's why we try to put it on Amazon, it's on ST, it's all in all the um, digital platforms. You can download it if you're not in Nigeria. So it's more like me um, helping people know how to cook. That's why the idea of you know writing the book came. Hi, this is Wafai once again. Thank you for watching my cover on Accelerate TV. Keep watching Accelerate TV, subscribe, then get better content. And then don't forget to visit Just Afang Restaurant. Just come, I'm always here. <laughs>